In second part of this video, we will design for punching shear using a drop panel. So about the drop panel that we increase the depth of the slab around the shear parameter that we calculated before. As in column capital, we found it minimum B0. In this case, we, we need to find the minimum depth or D effective depth of slab. Similarly, we will put the demand equal to capacity VU is equal to 5VC uh, so that we can calculate the D from the capacity equation. So our 5VC was 118.8 kips, which will be equal to 0 0.75 multiply with 4 multiply with under root FC prime, which was 4000 multiply with B naught and d divided by thousand so in uh, in the previous problem uh, as we solved that b naught was 96 so we will keep b naught as 96 in this however we will find d the effective depth of the slab that is required to satisfy the shear demand so uh, b naught will be 96 and d we need to find out so by calculating that, uh, this is 118.8 kips. And if we calculate the D from this equation, it comes out to be around D will be equal to 6.5 inches, which is greater than our previous D, well, which is given in uh, actually the question which is six inches so now we know that uh, in order to calculate the d so uh, after calculating d the aci recommends that the depth of the drop panel below the slab should be at least h by four or the quarter of a thickness of the total uh, thickness that we will calculate for the slab the thickness of the drop panel should be at least this h by 4 so now as we have d is 6.5 so our h will be equal to h will be equal to 6.5 plus one inch cover plus 0 0.5 i'm assuming half inch reinforcement bar or number four bar uh, so this comes out to be uh, eight inches so now this is our uh, total depth of a slab so thickness of drop panel will be equal to eight divided by Four, which comes out to be two, two inches. So now this is the depth of our drop panel. So if ah uh, 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 yeah, and the total thickness so the total thickness of the slab around the drop panel will be equal to uh, uh, 2 plus already a slab thickness which is provided to us is 7 inches as uh, shown in the previous uh, uh, numerical which comes out to be 9 so the total thickness will be equal to 9 inches and now uh, let me draw the drop panel um, if this is our column upper column we can say and this is our flat plate slab uh, and uh, then the drop panel will be around the critical shear parameter we can say this is our central line of the columns and then this is our drop panel which we provide around the shear parameter so it satisfies the demand 
so this is 7 inches and this is 2 inches this comes total comes out to be 9 inches and the extent to which we have to uh, provide the width of the drop panel is a, uh, also provided by the ACI which is uh, LA by 6 or span length divided by 6 if in this question our span length is uh, 20 feet uh, so the um, uh, extent the, draw, the uh, extent of the drop panel will be around 3.4 feet or um, yeah, 3 feet uh, 3 inches around that so this is our drop panel actually or this is equal to 40 inches now uh, this shows this is our drop panel so this is the design of the drop panel we can also provide the drop panel along with the column capital in case we have some certain kind of architectural requirement or structural requirement where it doesn't set it doesn't fulfill the capacity where the slab doesn't fulfill the capacity even if we, uh, we provide the top panel or column capital then we can use both of them and we can provide the slab and then we provide the top panel and after the top panel we can also provide the column capital to increase the effective shear depth of the effective shear uh, capacity of the slab so this is the design of drop panel and in the second part if uh, i also told you that if we increase the total depth of the slab it is also one of the solution by which we can satisfy them to increase the capacity of a slab to resist the puncturing shear is by increasing the depth of the slab or by increasing the fc prime or strength of the concrete by editing additives or using mixed design so let us first of all see if we increase the depth of the slab so let us assume that the uh, depth of the slab or d effective depth of the slab d is seven inches so as we know five 5vc is equal to 0 0.75 multiply 4 multiply with under root fc prime so they both are the which is 4000 multiplied by b naught is 96 and if we take now d as 7 inches rather than 6 inches which is provided in the question if we check that our capacity will turn out to be 5vc will be equal to around uh, let me just calculate and this will be this will equal to yeah 127.5 kips so this is higher than the our demand which was 118 kips per uh, 118 kips for this panel actually so this is one way to increase the depth of the slab uh, to increase the capacity of the uh, slab another way is to increase the fc prime so let us assume that the fc prime uh, for our concrete is now 5000 rather than 4000 which is provided in the question so 5 vc will be equal to 0 0.75 multiply with 4 multiply with under root fc prime is 5000 now and b naught is again 96 as previous question multiply with 6 inches like previous like provided in the question so now this is previous d and divide by 1000 so 5 vc in this case the demand and the capacity of the slab comes out to be around 1 to 2.2 caps so this is also higher than our uh, demand which is one 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 eight one one eight point eight caps so this is okay and we don't need to, don't need to design for shear so these are some uh, solutions 
that we provide uh, for design of slabs thank you so much for watching i hope you liked the video